Hi guys, today I will show you how to create a product render of this Nespresso seated coffee machine. So let's begin. This is a very good model downloaded from Sysimod. I will put the link in the description of this video to download for free this product and uh, let's begin so first of all i want to create a plane to create my studio background with uh, width segments of one and height segments also one and make it editable with pressing the um, the button c on my keyboard now i will create with an extrusion my plane so I'm going to extrude it nineteen degrees and pull it up. Yeah, good. I will set it up it properly like this, yes, and now I will bevel it this edge. Bevel. Remember to disable phone break rounding to have a better results. Okay. First part is good. Now I'm gonna create a V-ray bridge physical camera and set it up properly on my scene zero zero that's good maybe we can try to properly position it in scene and apply it protection tag so I cannot move my camera rename it background and maybe we can rotate a little bit my Nespresso coffee machine after doing this I want to create my light studio setup, so I go to render settings and activate my V-Ray Bridge um, renderer. And in the indirect illumination, I'm going to skip to my primary GI engine to irradiance map, and the secondary GI is good to light cache. Now it's time for my lights. So I'm going to V-Ray Bridge, Lights, V-Ray Area Rectangle Light. Skip my display to quick shading to see a correct view of my scene and go out from my camera and position my first light. I think this is the key light, so I'm going to illuminate properly this area here. So I'm going to set up it by reducing the area of this light. And maybe we can try to put it to 60 or maybe 100 but let's see what happens in camera I want to disable vignetting effects and set my white balance to neutral let's see what happens in my render
okay as you can see my first first light is good but I think it's a little bit dark so I'm gonna increase it and uh, rotate it to remove this little bit of to try to remove this dark spot here so stop the render and rotate a little bit my light go to the light v rate light angle and maybe fix the light setup properly with uh, a radiant power of 150 watts Okay, I think it's better. Um, we have a little bit of um, darkness here, a dark spot here, but I will fix it with uh, the other lights in my scene. So I'm gonna stop it. Sorry, but I forgot to go to my project setting and disable linear workflow. Let's see what happened in my render. I think everything not change, but it's uh, good to disable linear work for, for uh, a correct uh, color management in my render. Okay, good, and doesn't the lighting doesn't change, so everything is good. So stop it and create a new rectangle light. Rename it this key. This fill. Rotate it properly. Maybe eighty degrees is good. kind of render go to my render uh, my area light tag and skip it to bats and let's try to set it up to 75 watts and see what happens okay as you can see my second light gives me a little bit of bouncing light here and I really like this I think it's good if we compare the two render and now we have a last we have to set up the last light for um, increase the lighting of my background so stop it Go to my gray bridge light, add a rectangle light, and set it up to my background. So, go exit from my camera view. And position the light properly to illuminate my background. This one I'm going to set it up in watts after set it up this position correctly I will increase the power of this light to maybe 50 watts and see what happens in my render
let's compare with the previous one it's good it's the the light is uh, is now brightening up the my background but i think it's too low so i can try to increase a little bit my power of this light maybe to 100 watts let's see what happened in my render Okay, cool. I think it's good. My black spot here is a little bit better in light and also here. Maybe we can try to double it again. So let's try to 200 watts and see what happens. Okay, good. I think for the initial the initial setup is it's good start. So now it's time to setting up my material for this scene. So stop it. And I want to create uh, I think is uh, it's a good idea to create a colorful uh, background to, uh, so I go to V-Ray bridge create my first V-Ray advanced material set it up to rename it to background or PG and set it up uh, reddish color for example maybe you can try to add a little bit of reflection on it and the reflection glossiness also to 0.9 to create a little bit of blurriness in it so let's see what happens Okay, this is good. I want to remove my background from uh, reflections and also this reflection of the array light on my background. So I want to stop the render and to remove the, the, the background from the reflection I'm going to go to my background right click, V-Ray Bridge Tag and V-Ray Compositing and disable Show in Reflection to remove the, the reflection of the array light on it I'm going to my material in my specular layer I'm going to enter on Expert settings, activate my reflection dim distance, and maybe we can try to. How tall is it? It's about 23 centimeters, so I'm going to put it to 50 centimeters and see what happens. Um, 
it's important in this process uh, to um, avoid uh, strange reflection on my plane to consider the height of the product that I want to show uh, in the reflection dim distance uh, so it's uh, um, all reflected on my plane now I'll show you what I mean because uh, if I change my reflection settings uh, of this uh, reflection this distance, dim distance um, as you can see I solved my problem with uh, the background but I think I have a little bit of problem with my uh, darkness here I have uh, this uh, dark spot here that I don't want but I fix it later um, as I told you if you change it to 10 for example this uh, this product is uh, about 30 uh, centimeter height as you can see here this piece is 23 this one so with the base it's about 30 if I reduce this to 10 I have a problem in the reflection as you can see in my preview render I have only reflection of the base here so I don't want this the, the product is uh, seems to be cut out so I don't want it so I I I I will uh, only um, uh, hide the reflection of my lights and not of my project products. So I set it up to fifty to avoid this problem. Okay, now we can try to remove the the problem of the. this problem here to go to my background and see what happens if I change the cube of my plane Okay, as you can see, by changing the, um, the curvature of my background with a simple scale tool, I have, uh, I have fixed my problem with this area, and I think it's uh, now better result for my render. So I'm going to stop it and uh, set up my material for my coffee machine I create new advanced material name it glass create a simple grass for my coffee cup here maybe it's good and I think activate my specular layer reflection and put it on my cup all my cup group but I want to this to be coffee so I want to create a shadow for coffee so create a new V-Ray Advanced Material, name it Coffee, and we can try to simulate the coffee by create maybe I can put a 
little bit of gloss, uh, refraction glossiness to, of about 0.8 and brightness of my specular color of about 50%. Disable my diffuse layer, activate my reflection layer, refraction layer. Uh, we can try 12 a nice. coffee but this is not work good for me no and we must find the correct value for this reflection layer and I think this is similar to coffee for what I want in my render so let's see what happens here yeah I think it's a good start for my render so I'm going to assign my glass material also to this water here, duplicate it and create a second glass material for my water, so I name it water, I have added a little bit of color on it and assign it to my water here water so see what happened in my render here yes good it's a good start maybe I want to increase the brightness of my water maybe to 3% of saturation and brightness of 100% and I think it's good to reduce a little bit the reflection glossiness of my glass to 0.9 to have a more realistic look of my glasses so I want to see what happened in my render Okay, I think it's a good start. As you can see, I have uh, this nicer uh, reflection gives me by my area light and also my background and my coffee machine. And also the water tank is good. So I think it's a good start for my transparent material of this product. So stop it. Okay, now I want to create the main uh, plastic part of this, the material for this part of my product. So I'm going to create a new shader, create shader, V-Ray Bridge, V-Ray Advanced Material, name it Plastic, plastic C1. And I think it's a good a good start to prepare it in maybe we can try to see what happens in on uh, rend if we create a red on red render so 0 0.95 I think is good sign it 
and see what happens if I go to my have a quick render on my render region. Okay, I think it's a good start, but I want uh, to increase a little bit of reflection on my model. So to to fix this problem, I'm going to my render settings, V-Ray Bridge Environment, and I think I want to override my reflection environment to add a, add a little bit of reflection. To do this, I maybe we can try to add um, an HDRI from my from the content browser in presets on. Uh, Cinema 4D. Maybe we can try to something like this photo studio, maybe. So I'm going to take it and put it on my sorry, I'm going to my texture. Select this one and apply it on my reflection environment. So now I'm going to see what happened in my so it doesn't change, so I'm going to increase my value to maybe one and maybe try to ten and see what happened okay good as you can see a very nice reflection on my side now I think it's good but I have a little bit of problem oh, my background but I think I want to show the result in a quick render Okay, we have fixed the problem on this plastic with, the, with this nice uh, reflection, but I have now the problem uh, that we present uh, here with our background. So, to fix this, I think it's a good idea to not use this reflection environment, so disable it, and I'll show you a little tricks to avoid this problem. Stop the render. First of all I want to create a sphere. And make it a little bit wider. Create a new shader V-Ray advanced material. Name it HDRI and assign it to my sphere. Now we have to go to my render settings, reflection environment, copy this and set it to my maybe with my diffuse layer works good we can try now maybe we can try with my luminosity layer paste it 
reduce my transparency amount and disable my override reflection environment and see what happened in my or in the region. Okay, it's good. I think I have a little bit of problem with my reflection here. If you compare with the previous render. I don't really like it, so it's the problem is the rotation of my sphere, so I'm going to stop it, duplicate my sphere, and make it more smaller to see in my camera view applicate my new material to this and switch to see the effects of my background so I think we can rotate this to maybe we can try to 40 so I'm going to apply the same value on my rotation on H to my reflection environment. So minus 40, disable it, see what happens. Okay. I think it's a good start. We don't have now the problem of reflection on my background. So stop it. I want to add a little bit of tricks. So maybe we can try to rotate this by 10 degrees. Oh, sorry, minus 10 degrees. So do the same. Think here, minus 10 degrees on my back, um, my reflection sphere. Reflection sphere. Disable my setup sphere. And I think to my reflection sphere I want to apply my uh, V-Ray bridge tag, V-Ray compositing, and, and I think I want to disable visible to camera, cast shadow, receive shadow, and generate GI. I only I want to only show this sphere of my reflection and reflection layer. Let's see what happens now. test to compare it with this one okay as you can see by comparing with the previous one I have uh, so much more reflection on it that I want I really like this and this one but I don't like these effects here I think this, this effect is all good so to do this the only things to do is stop the render now with this sphere is not important for me so I delete it 
go to render setting activate activate my interactive render view set it up to see only the results on this area and let's try to tweak this by rotating this sphere so maybe we can try to rotate this about 50 I don't think it's good so undo these things rotate in the other direction by 10 degrees it's good I think it's better so undo set it up to zero this one and try to click this minus ten no so we can try to minus fifty on the opposite side Maybe you can try minus 180. Minus 270. And there we go. I think that's a one. what I want so the interactive preview is don't show the correct result in gamma so I'm going to stop it stop my interactive render region and see what happened in my render settings okay as you can see I have pretty the same result of my reflection environment in render setting with the sphere but the only things only things is to change is the power of this reflection so stop the render go to my HDRI settings and maybe we can try to reduce the luminosity of this layer to about 50% and see what happened okay as you can see by reducing the amount of this luminosity layer in my HDRI map I have created the correct value for my render delete this test and let's try to compare it with the reflection glossiness map and see what happens I think it's good I love this little bit of increase of my reflection here and here so I think it's a good start maybe we can try to a little bit reduce this value so stop it and set it up to maybe 35% and see what happens now okay I think oh, sorry I changed the incorrect value so stop it and this is not the amount but is the amount of the texture so 35% and we leave it to 100 
Let's see what happens if I like the results. Yeah, I think my preview is, gives me the correct value, so things will start for my plastic. Okay, good. I think the reflection reflection color is good. So stop the render and uh, let's try to create the other material for my coffee machine. So let's now create a shader, we ray bridge, we ray advanced material, create a chrome material uh, amount of diffuse layer about 10% specular from 95% and present IOR of about 30 and assign it to this to this grid here so to this one one also maybe we can assign it on this grid here okay um, maybe we can add this to this button here I think this is good for me I don't want uh, to be very precise on this tutorial because it's, I want to show you the metals but not the the perfect result of this because it takes too so much time Okay, now duplicate my chrome material, name it maybe iron, reduce this Fresnel IOR at about 50, maybe 7, yeah good, increase a little bit this brightness to about 80, and go to 0 0.8 in my reflection glass to create a little bit simple iron setup for this grid and I think it's good and now I'm going to create a new plastic shader by duplicate this plastic 02 and change the color of my plastic to about black color blackish color yes I think this is a good start maybe 50 here and assign it to my to this material to this piece here to the cup of water tanks and the base this is an iron piece I think and now we have a little bit of we also now the only material that I want to set up for finish these renders is the Nespresso pod and I have this one, what is this? Ah, it's the tube, this is one to 
red maybe to create a little bit of contrast and for this Nespresso pod I have some texture so I'm going to create shader with a bridge and then material pod 01 in the diffuse layer I'm going to apply this capsule diffuse top copy this one put it on my specular layer activate this to have a little bit of metal look for my strength of 0.9 we have a little bit of metalish look for my pods so for first pods I'm going to apply it good rotate this texture so I'm going to my body paint UV edit select this material this model here sorry and rotate by 180 degrees to have a correct position of my texture here so I want to select this part of my my model and assign it a different material for the parts so I want to apply the newest material remove Try to 1.6 on my Fresno IOL. This to 0.95, and this is maybe 50%. And assign it of the from this material to this selection. I have a little bit of problem here, so I want to fix it by selecting the. that my selection miss is good now I have a problem on this part and I think we have solved all the geometry selection problem that I want so assign my we have many problems so I'm going to change my selection to avoid this problem so delete sorry go to my pod select all my polygon here with my live selection tool with only visible elements Activate, select this one, invert the selection, and assign my plastic material. 
good. I think it's a better result. To the other capsule that uh, is positioned in another method, so I only assign this pod zero to material. Sorry. Okay, I think this plastic is too glossy, so I'm going to my specular layer and I'm going to decrease a little bit my brightness to 75%. So let's jump on my camera, sorry, and see what happened with all, all materials set it up to my render. Okay, I think all materials work very good, but I think so I have a little bit of underexposure problem on it, so I'm going to fix it by by doing two things. I think so that I want to uh, increase a little bit of contrast by this red and this one of the mach coffee machines, so I'm going to my background diffuse layer and re reduce a little bit my and we can try with 60% and also we have to increase my exposure of my camera to about the doubling the file ISO and see what happened in my render now. Okay, I think I have better result but I think now the background is washed out so I stop it and maybe we can try to have a compromise on it so maybe we can fix it to 70 and also to have a nicer look of my scene I want to duplicate this Nespresso pod rotate it with by clicking on control and put it on a nicer position position to see the logo of this coffee machine. Now I wanna check the position of my products, increase a little bit of gaps here to create a nicer look. And also in the background, I want to increase a little bit my reflection by increase this Fresnel IOR and see what happened in my render now. Okay, if we compare with this dark render, the last one is very good and I have a little bit of contrast from my background to with my uh, plastic part of this uh, coffee machine that I really like it, so it's better for 
the last one is better than the previous one that because the this background here is very washed out so I don't like it and I think it's better from the previous render because I have a little bit of reflection increasing here and the color of my background give me a better um, render of my product here so I think so uh, I hope you, you enjoy this render and how to set up this studio environment for product rendering with the, the little tricks of reflection so if you like my tutorial follow me on YouTube and Instagram so let's see to another tutorial and uh, have a nice day bye